Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video. Um, this is a long awaited video because I've noticed um, my last two or three videos I've kind of dibbled and dabbled around this topic and by now this video already has a subject which I haven't thought of yet. Um, probably something simple but Let's get straight to the point. I've been dibbling and dabbling around this topic because it hasn't been official until the day before yesterday. So today, Friday, Wednesday is when it became official. And what exactly I am talking about is I got the job. That's probably what I'm going to name this video. I got the job. Um, I had an interview for Kmart on May 5th. Yeah, Monday, May 5th. And they, when they called me, they called me the Friday before saying, bring your ID and your social security number, security card. So I bet I was already excited because most job interviews don't tell you to do that unless, you know, they're really trying to hire you. So the interview went great. Like, she was so shocked that I had so much experience. I was already confident. Usually I get nervous for interviews, but I was confident just because I had read like in January is when I first, when I stopped working, um, but before then, I was a, a cashier, a stock team associate, a fitting room associate, a sales floor associate, what else? That's it. And I worked in the shoe department too, and I worked upstairs in the stock room, I already said that. But yeah, um... And this was all at Ross Clothing Store. If you guys are familiar with it, it's a fairly new um, clothing retail chain that sells discounted clothes. But that's enough of that job because that will be a whole nother video. But anyways, um, I was telling her about all of my experience at um, Ross and she was just taken back. Like she was blown away and it made me feel better because she didn't have not one bad thing to say or maybe you should do more of this so you know and then she copied my ID and my social security card and she told me she sent me an email and she sent me an email so I could take my drug test I took my drug test May 8th or 9th one of those days and I didn't get any feedback for like two weeks cause I was um after I took the drug test I didn't get any feedback for like two weeks and I was so scared because, um, I'm like, first of all, I know I don't do drugs. I don't smoke or do heroin, cocaine, none of that other stuff. So I'm like, why is it taking so long? Uh, I have nothing to worry about with the drug test. And so, um, I started thinking the worst. Like, maybe they didn't mean to send, maybe they, they didn't mean for me to take the drug test or nothing. And I started thinking about my other interviews when you think you did so well and then it turns out you don't even have it. I'm not going to say no names, <clears throat> Nordstrom Rack. But I had an interview for them and all of my experience fits perfectly with Nordstrom Rack if you ask me. And it fits perfectly with other retail stores too, but Nordstrom Rack, I thought I had it. And they called me in class, and I couldn't answer the phone because um, I was taking a test. So she left a voicemail, and I called back the moment class was over. And she was like, hi, how are you doing today? I'm like, fine, how are you? And then she was like, fine, um, unfortunately, we decided to go with another candidate, so we wouldn't be able to offer you employment with us right now. And in my head, the first thing that popped in my head was like, who called somebody to tell them they didn't get the job? Especially leaving a voicemail saying, please call us back, it's important. In my head, when I was calling them back, I was calling them back for her to tell me I got the job. So, ever since then, I really just don't put all my eggs in one basket. So, around the time when um, I was going through the drug test process, I was applying to other jobs. Just to have something to fall back on, just in case I didn't get it, I'll, prob I'll have um, a good chance of having other interviews lined up. So, um... About a week or two later after I took the drug test, I got an email pretty much saying I got the job and I had to finish all the new hire stuff. I had to click on all these links and put all my information and all that good stuff about how, which pay method I wanted to go with and all that other stuff. And I had to read all the fine print. It took me about an hour because I wanted to make sure I read everything. But once everything was said and done, another week goes by without any words. So I called the um, human resource manager, the one who interviewed me. And she um, 
told me I didn't finish something. So I go looking. They sent me three emails. So I go look through all three emails, and I realized I really didn't finish something. So I hurried up and fit. I didn't hurry, but I finished it. And then I called her back the next day, and she said, "Okay, she'll look over it." Another week goes by, and I'm thinking, "Okay, did she forget about me?" So I called this week. Actually, I called Monday. I was like, "Did you forget about me?" Um, I finished all the paperwork you told me, and everything that was sent in the emails. I made sure I finished all of it. She said, "Yeah, I know. I got all your information." Um, we're just having a little bit of problem getting you and a few other people's ID number. So, um, I was like, okay. And then she called me back the next day to tell me when my first day was. And that's why this video is so long awaited because I was waiting to do this video on I got the job until I received word of when my first day was and when I would actually be starting. So, now that I got that, my first day is Tuesday. I'm so excited because I need a job and hopefully this is a long term job because filling out job applications is the worst. So I'm glad I got this job. Shout out to Ambi and congratulations to her because she got the job too. So we're both working at Kmart. Well, different Kmarts, but still Kmart. And we actually had our interview on the same day. So shout out to her. Hey girl. And what I was about to say. Um, and Kmart is so convenient that I got this job because when I was working for Ross, they wore blue tops and black bottoms, and Kmart wears the exact same uniform, so I don't have to buy another uniform. Um, I am going to go buy me some short sleeves because next week is supposed to be in the 80s all week, so I'm definitely going to go buy me some short sleeve blue shirts this weekend. But, that's really all I want to tell you guys and inform you guys on my new job. And I will be back. What was what did I say my next video was gonna be? Oh, I said something more personal in depth. Um, I think my topic is gonna be relationships. So that's really a general topic, so I can talk about a lot of stuff with that. But um hopefully I'll do that video this weekend. So Saturday or Sunday. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, click that subscribe button if you haven't already and go watch some of my other videos. I have plenty of other videos for you guys to watch. Thumbs up and comment anything you need to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.